This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, Ears Edition. Catch up on the latest episodes of The Daily Show with The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, Ears Edition. Trevor Noah and the world's fakest news team tackle the biggest stories in news, politics, and pop culture. It's like The Daily Show, but for your ears only. Studies show that ears are great for listening. Who are we to deny science? Tune in to The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, Ears Edition, for highlights and extended interviews available Tuesday through Friday mornings on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, or wherever you can get your ears on a podcast. To air is human, to gur canine. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Ah, yes, thank you to a picture of a tractor for that catchphrase submission. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another edition. This is a very special edition, I have to say. Uh, moms and proms season, uh, right before grads and dads. I don't exactly know where we are, but uh, we are certainly uh, in one of those. And the, the one that I'm talking about is prom. That's right. We are coming here live from Marina Del Rey High School. Woo! The gymnasium uh, out next to the field, uh, approximately 500 yards from the track. We are here live from the prom of Marina Del Rey High School, and uh, I'm here with our old friend Marissa Wampler. Hello, Marissa. Hello, and welcome to the best night of your life. Of my life. That's right. I've lived a... Oh, gosh. Here we go. Woo! By the way, I'm Scott Ackerman, uh, your host uh, for today. And, Who uh, cares? Oh. Hey. Hey, Wobsters. Welcome to our Promptacular. I've got a very special night planned for you guys and also for Mr. Choctaw, who will be attending his first prom. I have been to a couple of proms. When Come I was actually on, in yes. high school, I'm not attending this prom. Yes, I, you, you are. Because... You called me. No, you called me and you said, uh, you know, come to the prom and you can do a live remote podcast from and it. And what did which you is... say? I said yes. I said, come to the prom, and you said... Uh, well, I mean, you put an ellipsis in there. I said you yes. you said yes. But, but there was a whole bit in between there where you said, and you can do a live remote podcast. As well, but you said yes, and so you are my date, sir, to this prom. So uh, welcome to your first prom experience. I, no, I, I'm telling you, I went to a couple of proms when I was actually in high school. <laughs> sure. But, uh, sure you did. Is this some kind of thing where you ask a celebrity to take you to the prom and no, every No, if I was asking a celebrity, I would have asked Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but he but I could get his PR contact info in in time. So in time, you did get it though? I did get it and I will be listen, I'm not going to graduate. Let's get real about that. So yeah, hopefully I have to next say, year I'll be there with How the, old the Rock. are you now? You're 30? The fuck? You're the only one who knows. You we tell had your me. real 17th birthday about five years ago. You tell me, because I came to work for you uh, when I was, what, 14? Yeah, let me tell you the story about Marissa Wampler, because she hasn't been on the show in a few years now, no. it seems like. Uh, Marissa uh, came back nine years ago when we first started doing the show. Uh, Marissa was a... Uh, Wait, nine years ago? Yeah. So maybe I'm... 21? You're at least 21. I, I think you could probably get car insurance at this point, at the yeah, very Affleck, least. Yeah, I could at least apply. <laughs> Should I set up right over here? Uh, uh, hi. sound good? Yeah, uh, Listler, hi. How are you? I'm feeling great. How are you, Choctaw? Uh, I'm really good. This is uh, Miss Listler here, uh, teacher at... Shard Shardog Listler. In Shardog the house. Listler, Woo yes. Loaded up with tunes and treats. T teacher at uh, Marina Del Rey and High dance School. Moves. A teacher of dance moves, is that what you said? No, I, I was saying what I'm loaded up with still. You're loaded up with dance moves. That's right. Mm. I love a dance. You're cocked a, a and loaded? school dance. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're Nothing dressed. Like the teacher's corner. You are dressed very much like Janet Jackson in the Rhythm Nation. That's right. And I'm loving that look. I mean, a big I, you, shoulder you only have a microphone, a headset microphone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take over in a little bit and sing uh, some Miss You Much. <laughs> um... What do you teach here again? You teach the, the special... The STARS program. Yeah, the STARS yeah, program. Okay, Spaz Academy, 
Marissa's in there, gutter balls, graduate, uh, proud graduate, now come back as an aide. He's a teacher's aide, sometimes mm-hmm. teaches when we have to go off the grid. And right. that's a special alternative learning program. Yes, Marissa. Okay, so when you came on the show nine years ago, yeah. you, uh, you, you were just an intern. You never showed up for work. And oh, then you right. would come in occasionally. And you have a very interesting life where you've been going to school for years and years, years almost and a, years. Uh, nigh upon a decade now yeah. in high school. Four score and 20. <laughs> and, for sure. Uh, 420 <laughs> yeah. at the very least. Yeah. And uh, Miss Lissler is your teacher who yep. uh, occasionally kidnaps you. And uh, B.A. Baracus is you or vice versa. I can't really recall. It's been a minute since you've been on. Yeah. Both of those things. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, so- I have some gaps. I have like if I were to apply for a job, which I have, say it like a Quiznos, mm-hmm. I would have to Quiznos explain. Quiznos, what Quiz did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This, you know what? I quiz filed. yes? <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Don't you try. Him. Quiz maybe. Don't you try. Nope. <laughs> No, that's terrible. Quiz maybe. Okay, please don't. If you encourage like, him. Do you want it hot or roasted? Here's what it's like. Being with the Choctaw is like being with your dad. If you laugh, he's going to think it's funny. Do it more. Mm-hmm. And then try maybe when he goes to work to do it because you laughed at him at home. And then the well, people now, who works for him Marissa, have to laugh because they're being paid by him. And then he goes through life living a lie. Marissa, you don't have a dad, though. How would you know that? I have a dad. Uh, we just don't talk about him. Who's your dad again? I we don't talk about it. Will, Why would you? I pay will it? park my car there if I need you. My my stepdaughter oh, needs me. All right, no, unhand me. Get your fucking hands off me. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I made it. I'm here. I Did got the talk. Did you just tux. get tased? Yeah, I don't know who that. Uh, that That's piece our security of work. guy. Well, his I name's thought, Peso. I thought it was a fat woman. Okay, that guy is not authoritative, and so he came at me hard with that. First and, of all, what do you think? Peso does not look like a woman. He's, look at that little round, little bit of honey. <laughs> Wait, you think you think the qualities of a woman are round? Yeah, a little, a little, a little like spherical, del- delicious little thing you pop in your if mouth. If you're look attracted, like an amuse bouche, yeah, like a, yeah, like like a, a little dip and dots, like a little go? dip and dots. Sure, I mean, I don't. Whatever food is appealing to you, like, okay, okay. yes, I've gone down on women, and I'll say it. I've, said, oh my I've God. gone Why down. Is this I'm using the language. Five seconds, sweetheart. It doesn't matter. I'm here. I'm I here didn't to be ask your. Ask da- you to be here. You completely asked me to be I here. I asked you to drop me off no, and sweet- sit in the parking lot, sweetheart. Four nights ago, you were in a hysterical crying fit at the fact that you did not have a date. You were saying, I no, said I, I was-, was working it out and that I had waiting for the facts back. No, I had you faxed said, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's PR agent and I was waiting. I saw that and I stopped that text. I erased that text before you sent it. I thought that was irresponsible for you to reach out to a, a major motion picture star and wrestler and bald man like that. You can't do that, sweetheart. Mm. Just one of those. Yeah, one. pick one. Yeah, pick Just, one. Pick, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, I'm going to be a professional bald man. And speaking, you know, we know exactly. a bunch of bald gentlemen. So, uh, sweetheart. You know who's doing a really good job of that? That guy who did the um, Six Flags commercial <laughs> dancing. There's also a guy on the uh, Justin, really he, doing commercials with Justin Timberlake lately who yes. does a really good job Oh, yes. He's, He's got great. a Yul Brynner quality to him. <laughs> he is so bald. Who is it? He looks, Marissa. Like, so he looks like Jason Jason Lee almost, but like with no hair. <laughs> who is this, Marissa? Like, uh, Tell the listeners because oh, I know who this so is. So this person talks Talking. Oh, are we live? Are yeah, we yeah, live we're, right now? We're, we're, we're uh, broadcasting live, live we're from broadcasting. the Marina Del Rey oh, High School. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said go down on women. That's not, you know, with this whole thing that's going on, of myself included, that movement, I shouldn't have said that kind of thing. You're, so, like, the, you're like the anti-DJ Khaled. I don't know what it, that is. Is that a physical condition someone might have? Or? <laughs> it could be. Okay. <laughs> Sore neck? Was, yeah, yeah, I got that. Can you that. rub my, that, my calids out? Uh, Listen, I'll this, let them okay. know. I'm Seth and Wampler. You, you're I'm saying a, I shouldn't make jokes like that? This is just, I, okay, this you're going to be so thinking to yourself, hey, 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 you're going to be thinking to yourself, you're listening and you're thinking, what the fuck is going on? Why is this, this stepfather at the prom? Right? And that's exactly the question I'm asking. This is my stepfather, Seth. I asked him to drop me off in the parking lot. Instead, he dropped, he drove his Hyundai Sonata up onto the the grass yeah. of the track, which, by the way, we're going to be uh, we're going to be charged for that. Yeah, you're going to have to resod that, I believe. We're going to have to you resod know, that. That's easy to sod. I can I I'll do the sodding for that one. I'm a I'm a great sodist, so just let me in there. I'll, I'll do it. You're like the Marquis de Sod. <laughs> the Marquis de Sod. That's funny. See? What you just did oh, with those oh, words, good. that's funny. It's yeah. not funny. No, that's and good you're stuff. Both 
Can, can I use that? Sure, yeah. Be, be my guest. I'm trying to get my podiatry Or be my guest if you're back. the Marquis de Sade. See what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so this that's is too like much. two dads <laughs> just having at line. it. This is what's going to happen. When you're going to date an older guy, you're going to have this you're kind of problem. Really you're not really not dating. dating. Hey, you're not sorry. This is a date. Can I put in a request? Is this the DJ? Oh, yes. Hey, it's Casey Steers, everybody. See us, Steers. What do you want? Wait, this is not the DJ booth? It wow. is also the DJ booth. A uh, wicked game by Chris Isaac, please. Wicked Ooh. game. Slow dance. Ooh. I really I like how your dance. collars popped up. Yeah. So high. Uh, that is. Uh, hope you guys are having a good time. Hey, who who is this now? Casey Steers. You're a teacher here at Marina Del. No, Rey? I'm the. I actually can't teach anymore, but I'm running <laughs> an extracurricular yearbook program. Uh, kind Off of like campus. The, yeah, the students' yearbook yearbook. Oh, like pirate radio, but in yearbook form. Yeah, exactly. I, mean, I just feel like you know the school system has been you know very oppressive, and I've experienced it at the hands of some of the administration here. So this is not a real yearbook. This is a yearbook. It's a students' yearbook. Students. Year, well, yeah. I mean, the yearbook is the students' yearbook. Yeah, but this, this is, is the a- one that doesn't have any of those. You know, old fogies looking down at us. This is about us. Oh, this is like a slam dance for yearbooks. Exactly. Exactly. So you're like a pirate radio slam dance for yearbooks. Look, again, I uh, all I know is that when I went to India, I understood the concepts of you know taking down. This was after you got fired. You went to India. So you did your own eat, pray, love. You used to teach here at Marina Del Rey. Uh Yeah. Well, look, uh, did I teach here? No. I opened my mind to people to teach me. These students are. You taught Dana Rodman a thing or two. You know, Dana uh, and I are legally not allowed to speak. Uh, We did have a, I guess now according to the court, we did have a relationship that was inappropriate. But now that uh, I went to India and I see what. But now that you went to India. It's yeah. a, it's cool. Some pictures were taken. <laughs> oh, no so one could. Some pictures prove. were taken in India, or no, no, no pictures here. were taken here. Oh, was Dana Rodman? Dana Rodman's a student here. Dana Rodman's yeah. a beautiful wait, wait, wait. girl. Let me, let me try to make sense. She's in college. Well, yeah, what's this, what, what I'm getting from <laughs> yeah. this is that you had sex with an underage girl and <laughs> no. photographed no. it. Is that it what? Never no, sex. no, it was all, no. It was never sex. You just she dry did. humped her? Did you dry hump a younger girl? Body silhouettes. They took. Oh, so you guys did sex. Body silhouettes. Wait, so you got a silhouette artist to come over? Uh, I. I like to work with film. I think it's a, a medium that should be coming back like celluloid. So, uh, well, you know, I, I have a film camera, and so uh, she was in my dark room. Mm-hmm. And nothing we were- is online for you. Right, you don't no. like you don't like to no. do digital. There's nothing about the cloud. It's all sure. you know. No, yeah. You, you um, develop with the water. You okay, put you the, hard the solutions. Copies. Yeah. Oh, you're there a hoarder. Are, you're a hoarder. Uh, you know, I I wouldn't say I'm a hoarder. I think I am a collector of life. Yeah, that's uh, a and hoarder. Life experiences. I think that's and, a hoarder. Though. What you know, are you doing here? I'm just, you know, I saw She's that there was a here. party. And this She's not here. Dana's not. not here. Dana's not here. You she sure? Did... Yeah. I mean, if anything, she heard you were coming. And... Her dad is here. Oh, really? Who's her yeah. dad? Well, Mr. She's got a younger sister. Yeah, this, guy is, this guy's got more problems than... Chaperoning. Uh, yeah. He oh, chaperones okay. the younger sister. By yeah. the way, he goes to school with her every day. Like, he's yeah. not going to let what I can only, to yeah, imagine. To her. This is yeah. such a repressed That's culture. Lady. I mean, we were in such a repressed culture in Germany. I tell you, you don't have anything like this. How long were you in Germany? Germany's not known for its relaxed, <laughs> yeah, it's pace it's pretty of uptight. Life, yeah. right? well, but, during October, but they fast. are pretty flu- They're pretty <laughs> open with right. their their poop habits. They'll poop on each other. You know, it's a it's hey, a very Seth, open I'm private just saying, society. Oh yeah, chastise me after somebody admits to being a pedophile he in a dark got, room. They took some body silhouettes. Good we don't God. know what happened. I said go down on a woman at the beginning of this. And, and you know what? And, yes. and that was okay. Yeah, thank you. Because women love that. They love it. They love it. Hey, guys. guys, If they request it. Can I address you two for one second? Can I address you two? I know that the prom. You you do do have have to ask. ask. Well, sometimes. Okay, let's. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes it no. makes it, it's an it's awkward. Unless for I everybody. grab the back of your head, pull down my panties, oh, and slow God. your head towards my cooch. Hold on, okay, guys. Hold that's on. A, yes, hold that's, that's the only ass. time I've that's ever been rate. involved in it. Hold right. on, guys. Hold on. I fear I fear that our newer made. listeners are getting lost within uh, all of <laughs> they definitely <laughs> the Byzantine are. relationships here. Marissa, you're a student here at the school. Listler, you're a teacher. Seth, you're the stepfather of Marissa. That's right. Yeah. And this CS Steers guy, I've CS. never met you before, yeah. but you're apparently a world traveler? Uh, no, I'm a former yearbook. Uh, Disgraced teacher. He sure. used to be in charge of the, the Daily Dolphin, 
uh, yearbook and our newspaper. I don't but understand. You what was, the, into what was our the newspaper called? The Daily Dolphin. That was also the Daily yes. Dolphin. Yes. So wait, how did people tell apart the newspaper very, very, and the yearbook? Well, it was also weird. And the it was yearbook, yearbook came out every single day. <laughs> no, it came out yearly, but it chronicled every day of our this year. This is the kind of problem that I had I when I was on staff. You know, this kind of these rules. The you know, point is, he got disgraced because so it was three hundred and sixty-five a- pages long. This yearbook. That's right. It was three hundred sixty-five. Oh, Every, every day. Yeah, every day had a picture. Very thick. I don't understand and why you can't I, I just run I got into a, a lot of trouble because Dana Rodman was in 325 of the days. A uh, lot of her featured, silhouettes. Uh, okay. Featured exclusive. They got yeah. into a relationship. Okay. Uh, he said, she said. They were actually very much in love, according did, to Dana. When you said, he said, she said, they both said the same thing? They, they were both, both in a said, relationship? They said that they were bonking <laughs> okay. each other like, we didn't ever like write. out of control. And this is this is all chronicled on your own podcast, which is called Womp It Up, which comes out. That's uh, right. Actually, that would be appearing on that podcast. I feel like you disservice. could just run a Chiron at the bottom of what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, like recapping. an MSNBC yeah, thing? Yeah, make it easy. Okay, I just want, uh, this is not a visual medium. This is oh, all an auditory oh, medium. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm, when you say like going down on women, we're not actually seeing so it. So I don't have to keep my head in this position to be on camera? I can, no. I can look yeah, you right can, and left? Okay, thank God. You look like Christian Bale in Batman Begins a little bit. You're not yeah, I felt very, my whole shoulders. I thought I was like, yeah, "That's exactly. how TV people do it." Okay, okay. you yeah, know, no, I, uh, a little more fluid now. Yeah, I love, I love the audio medium. What's well, that? Why are you bringing up your phone? Well, because uh, I have a. Also, whole... why do you have sunglasses on? It is literally pitch black in this in this gym. Yeah, there's we're a couple having, of a couple of gobos here. We're yeah. having, uh, we're having a great time. I guess these are, they're projecting dolphins on I just, the walls. Is that what they are? Yeah. It's a to... dolphin theme. It's an underwater theme. Under well, the sea. Under the sea. Yeah. Every wanna, year. With every the same year thing. under every the sea. Year. What the fuck? And I love it. Uh, language. Um, I language? wanted to promote. You're this. not a teacher anymore. I have a YouTube channel that I want to promote. It's uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with ASMR. No. Yeah, we we had what a guest that? on the show uh, here who talked about ASMR. That's where yeah. yeah. weird people who have a lot of problems get soothed by hearing like crinkly paper. Uh, it's not about that. It's about That's basically. It's, it's, yeah. I, I like to call it whisper therapy. Yeah, mm-hmm. weirdo. So yeah, you can. I'll, I'll do a little bit for you right now. Why? Okay. You're gonna do some ASMR here. <laughs> yeah, I do. This? I'll dress up. I'll dress up uh, in different characters and kind of just I don't do my. I want ass. you, you bring, to do any of this. this. Wow, you changed for? your clothes so quickly. What uh, What are you in now? Oh, uh, right now I am in a. Uh, I'm in a, obviously Superman. Uh, shirt and cape. Right. And, Did you bring uh, this like, shit so Mr. Rodman couldn't t- couldn't recognize you? Because this is really dangerous. Oh, I challenge yeah. Mr. Rodman to come and you look at me. You shouldn't like do man, it. Like a you man. shouldn't do it because he said he would break your neck and then shove your balls down your throat. Well, I've been doing oh. a certain kind of karate that basically the which, only way to practice it. Kind? In, what? Which, which kind karate? of karate? It's a subsect of karate that I don't think any of you are familiar with. Uh, oh, karate? Try us. Kura- well, basically, the only time that you perform this karate is for kill. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, kill rate. Yeah, this is the only time. Anytime I'd ever actually do this, the end result would be to kill. Okay. So, so and you're going to do it well, right now? Well, the intent if, is to kill. If, no, I was going to do my ASMR. Oh, okay. I was do my, so this would be like, you know. Now, sure. you've changed into a Superman outfit. It looks yeah. like you're about to perform in a community theater version of Godspell. Well, exactly? you know, obviously, I'd have the right lighting for my YouTube channel. And this, by the way, I'm getting tons and tons of hits on it. I'll just do a little bit right I now. I thought, tons. I don't, is YouTube kind and of, is that like a, like a vintage vinyl? That seems a little more digital than I would expect. It's no, it, it, no, it's uh, it's a internet. Now, if it was on MySpace, yeah. I could see that Ugh. being sort of. You Seth. know, but I'm sorry. Seth, get rid of your AOL account. You I know will what I mean? never give up. Are you up. still paying twenty five dollars a month yes. for AOL? Well, I just moved over from Net Zero, so this whole new AOL thing is very good. And yes, I'm dialogue. paying. Why won't I? Cut the cord. Find another cord. Yeah, yeah dialogue. What's your ASMR? Do this because I didn't ask for this, and I should have known. You little piece of shit. Oh, when you came girl. over here with this little smile on your face mm. that you were going to be doing self I just thought it was a DJ table. I had no big deal. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, go um, ahead. Did we ever find Wicked Game, by the way? Oh, yeah, I got it. I was right. Re- whenever you want it. Do you want it during I the ASMR? Probably, or? I, 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 would, I think ASMR is better served. Better with, quiet. Yeah, better quiet. Here we okay. go. So uh, the idea is that the listener at home is, is going to be someone that's man saving. Oh, this is the kind of shit he did to Dana. I don't want you to know that. Oh. She's special to me. Ew! She's a special, beautiful young woman. And I, just because I'm Superman doesn't mean that I can't feel. And I definitely feel, let me just go 
This is the kind of shit. So, like, when they were doing the yearbook yeah. planning and stuff, mm-hmm. he'd be fucking with So, he was just her. doing ASMR on her and on it works? All the time. Oh, my it's God. It's one of the most seductive uh, things you can do. If to I could give some feedback, man, actually, yeah. I listen to a lot of ASMR because I have a lot of anxiety mm-hmm. after my podiatry business went went under. Oh, it did. Something. I haven't seen you in so long. I'm so sorry. I yeah, didn't there hear was about an that. incident with it a was corn a botched and, corn yeah, operation. Removal. He was doing it in oh, the back no. of his car. She lost the whole heel as a result. Oh it, dear. Yeah, it was. I should. I'm so sorry, Seth. What are you doing for work now? Well, I'm trying to get things back going. He's I got a some, stay-at-home dad. Well, I'm, but I'm I'm a freelance podiatry consultant. How does that feel working on beautiful women's feet? Like that. Well, you know what? I I sort of opened it up Ugh. to not just beautiful women's okay, feet. Yeah. I will do unattractive women's feet, and I will do how kind of you. Yeah, and I'll do security <laughs> guards too because they have the hard, right. they have the the roughest yeah. job of all of the feet. Why don't you go over and ask Peso if he needs something shaved off because he's on his feet night and day. Peso. Yeah, the his security is, guard. He's yes, named his after name money. Is Peso. As, so That's like his, his last... nickname. Oh, because oh. he's always good for it. Oh. He's well, a great guy. He's always right. borrowing money, but he's always good for it. Is it to give it back? That's always cool. Yeah, he's like a Robin Hood. He's feet. like the Robin oh, okay. Hood of security guards. Security always guards carry. always have really bad feet because, you know, it's worse than marathon runners who are constantly running. Yeah. They're standing on their feet a lot, and then suddenly they'll have to take off after a burglar. Yeah, yeah and they're standing quickly. on their, fe- their feet with an enormously unhealthy body above it, just like just sad and rejected, and no one talks to them. Right. So a lot of anxiety right. and sadness goes into their feet. a lot of security guards right now. You know, no, just you, I understand uh, their feet. Feet, you know, you know the way that they deliver babies uh, in the C-section. They put a little like a uh, blanket up to cover the face. And if you do that with a a woman when you're doing podiatry, I imagine that the feet probably tell a whole different story. You could have a that's the kind well, of kinky no, shit you no, used no, to no, do no, with no, Dana no. Rodman. I'll isn't tell you it? something about podiatry. You have to lock eyes with your patient when you're really? working on those feet. Do you really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? It is, it is as close to lovemaking as you will get <gasps> maybe in the medical field. Maybe that I is. should in the medical a, field. Even well, I would think gynecology podiatry. would be the oh, no, closest. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> that, 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 there, there are more nerve endings in the human toe than there are in, in the, the average vagina. Oh. Everything the average you guys vagina. are saying is making me sick. Well, anyway, okay? what I was going to say about the ASMR is like, I think what you're doing is great, yeah, but you need you. you need a when you're thinking, uh, a, little thinking, you're yeah, yeah, a, little a little more, more moistness. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's popular. what we all need in our lives more moistness. So anyway, can we please? Get back to the Thank enjoyment of the oh, of the prom. Sure. Yeah. Well, why don't we Choctaw, dance? This dance. is your chance. Oh, yeah. Let's so get Marissa, in there and dance. Marissa, I'm not. I, I, I'm dance. not. I, I, I. You know, even though you probably are of legal age now, uh, and, f- and far from it, quite past. I might it. be in my mid forties. We don't know. <laughs> you just might be. I might be almost approaching menopause. This you know, is my we, last fling. We don't have the. We don't have your birth certificate, and that's on me. You know, I lost the key to the safety deposit box, and I'm not yeah. paying 125 dollars to get that. But you name. will pay. $25 to AOL. It is God America it. online. I met a lot of America people. online. Is there any, first, first any way to a like, place to meet people? Any way to maybe check your teeth to see how old you are? You know, we just got a new like puppy. Like a dog? Yeah, well, yeah, you know, just to well, see how, we you can, know. We or, can count the rings in your toes, uh, just like a tree, the, the human you know, toe. You know, like robe, a, and we should just take a look at you and just see, you know. I'm, I have offered my services to you, CS Dears. Oh, I said I want to be photographed. Mm-hmm. I said I do. You wanted I do to, to, to get the Dana Rodman treatment? Yes, absolutely. Are you kidding me? You should have read her blog. It was like Fifty Shades of Grey. I mean, so much kinky shit went down. Oh my yes. gosh! Mm-hmm. I, I have say offered that, uh, that to you. The for blog free tells half the truth. What's, What's the, the other, other half? half? It's a lot better than what she wrote. Oh, that's like a he said, she said situation. Hey, did you know she sold all the rights to a publisher? She's getting like a billion dollar book deal and her dad's letting her have it, I guess. Really? Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Do you get a piece of that? Or? So far, not. I have not heard anything. She uh, sold lawyer- the film rights and your part's going to be played by Christian Bale. Hey, like in Batman Begins where he can't move his head? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it all the way to the bank. You know what I'm saying? You won't, no. actually. Yeah. What because are you playing with right now, by what? the way? Is that a stress ball? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little stress ball. It just keeps me real. What are you realist. stressed out about? The fact you might get killed tonight by Dana Robin's dad? No, yeah, he's wandering out. around here. I, Looking uh, for you. Yeah, we're off in a little corner, by the way, if you're listening. And uh, uh, Marissa, you, by the way, you look um, lovely. Oh, oh. I, I thought this was the prom. I was about to say they really under. 
No, they really didn't do Well, that is the problem out there. Yeah, the turnout in this corner. Oh, my God. Yeah, you you just have to turn your head. That's all you have to do. Oh, I didn't know. It's just like like 20 (laughs) degrees this way. It is fantastic. Yeah, well, I'm actually glad we're tucked away because I definitely don't need anyone to see me here with my dad. I mean, my stepdad. Stepdad, stepdad, stepdad. stepdad. And you, you, your dress, you look, uh, we've we've often talked about how you, your your body shape is sort of like an upside down pyramid. That's right. And your dress, uh, your prom dress tonight, it looks as if almost like someone is fuming Fumigating uh, the pyramids? Yeah, like a like a termite tent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What I did was I went and I got as many umbros as my arms could carry at Dick's Sporting Goods. I see. And how many did that turn out to be? <laughs> like at least forty three okay. umbros. They actually shrink down when you press them because they're Do very they? oh, they're okay. very thin. Oh, okay. And then I stitched together one of our projects, like one a of parachute. our craft, like a parachute. Mm. All the umbros together. Cut a hole in the center. Cut a hole in the center, much like they would in the olden days when you have sex for the first time. Right, right, yes. Cut a hole in the center and see, you know. That Just it, see what's up. See what's up. Just peekaboo. <laughs> Which is another thing you used to do with Dana, right? That's- guys, we're having such a good time. You guys want to maybe just do ayahuasca? No, uh, no, no definitely I, not. I, I am a shaman. Not. I am a shaman. No, I you're not. You all- I'll try it. Yeah. No, Seth, Why don't. Why not? It's prom night. Let's Seth, have fun. it's not your prom night. He's it's offering us a night. laxative. Let's take it. A laxative? Yeah. Ayahuasca makes you shit whenever you take it. I suggested that for to someone who told me Isn't that just what it's for? I, for I, a second. I, I was talking oh. to someone who takes ayahuasca all the time, and I uh-huh. said, doesn't that make you shit all the time? And mm. the look on her face as if she'd been caught. Oh. Was, oh uh, like she's just oh, you know wearing a diaper and has had to hide no, it from everyone? We'll be, you need no. to clean out your bowels. There's lots of healthy alternatives. We just like do what? Coconut water. Mm. You have to drink. I a could lot reach of up it. there and jimmy it out. Seth jimmy it out from where? Bobby Brown did that from to Whitney colon. Houston. What? Uh, so anyway, Marissa, you look wonderful. You have uh, a uh, umbros all over, and then you have some sort of a. Uh, is it a corsage or a sash or what? What exactly is this? Is well, this- um, I was actually waiting for a cors- corsage from you. I did not know I was your date tonight, so well, uh, you should not have been expecting. I that should from have me. because, as you, uh, you said, yes. <laughs> and I recorded it just so if anything happened later. You can't record me saying yes, yes to I did. any question. I recorded it on my phone. I have I had an ability to record you. Just yeah, in everyone case has that. Voice notes. funny with Voice us notes later. App. Voice notes app. <laughs> That I have it on record that you agreed to this, um, and play uh, this. I don't. I uh, what do you play this thing? Here it is. Here it is. Hey, Choctaw. Hey, Marissa. What do you want? Hey, were you sleeping? It's yes. two p.m. Don't yeah. you have a job? Yes. Get out of bed. Okay. Oh my god. What are you doing in my bedroom? <laughs> uh, hey. Get out of here. I just wanted to say. Oh my god. Are you? Why are you fully erect? Uh, I'm standing up. Yes. Put it away. God, I just want to know if you wanted to come to prom with me. For what purpose? And do your podcast, Comedy Bang Bang. Oh, like a live broadcast? That's right. Oh, yes, sure. Great, got it. Jerk yourself off. Kirk! Did you get the recording, sweetheart? Did he you say yes? yes? Oh my God! Okay, if he doesn't show up, I will be there for you. All right. And Please you, don't do that. Whatever no. you do, don't do that. And I Even if pro- I'm alone, don't do that. I will probably not remember this. I've been Definitely blacking out a don't lot. Okay, do it. lately. I, I apologize it. that for. I'm gonna drive now, but if I black out on the way home, just let me know. You guys okay? ready to go? Let's oh. fire up that dune buggy. Let's go. Here we go. I love dune buggy rentals. Okay, this this clip wow. needs some editing. <laughs> yeah, it does. But not editing in the part where you say to do a live broadcast of the show. Why were you sleeping at two p.m.? You got to get. Are you depressed? I'm not depressed, but I, you know, I have a job that uh, takes me out to some very late nights. Why? You, you know, just like do ten a, p.m., or eleven p.m. Some man? nights. Are you an assassin? Like a John Wick style assassin? Yeah, oh, I don't I think care I would know that. Red Sparrow. Are you excited for John Wick like... Three? By the way, with Mr. TikTok Man. Now, John Wick. That sounds terrifying. Who's that... Mr. TikTok Man? Uh, some is a, a character I heard about. But John oh, Wick was God. like one of the founding fathers, right? It's like a it's a biopic about one. No, of you're thinking you're thinking of uh, John Hancock. John Adams. Yeah, both of those Johns are great. I I think it, I thought it, they were like a part of a sort of a nine part sequel of any John is a historical figure. I'm working on a John Adams Hamilton esque musical. Really? I really? Don't think you should. Yeah. Do what what exactly did John Adams do? We're figuring. I mean, it I saw out. I saw we're the Paul Giamatti. The, we're we're figuring it out in the workshops right now. We're just going to have a rap. Apparently, he was and, very angry a lot. He just seemed very sort of rejected and angry about the other uh, founding. Is fathers. it an all female production? Uh, currently, yeah, I think that's one of the coolest things about it, you know, is uh-huh. that there is, uh, 
you know, the idea to have all these women playing these amazing political figures. Yeah. So, wow. Whistler, speaking of speaking of uh, uh, figures. Uh, Thank you. What are what are you up to? Uh, you know, I you guys haven't been on the show in a couple of years, and yeah. uh, you know, last time I saw you, were you engaged or uh, who? Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know when the last time I saw you was. Uh, yeah. I should check my journals, but um, mm. yeah, I was engaged for a while. Uh, found out he had another family, so that went south. Um, and That's then a I deal breaker for you. Yeah. Ninety percent of For men me. have another family. I'm a lot of woman. Ninety percent of men? What is that? Uh, a glamour a, survey that you that you've read? Just an unofficial thing that I've done. Well, let me unofficial. What, what, was he French or did he have any kind of French heritage? No. Because, all right. No. He uh, very open. Uh, he owned he, the 7-Eleven. He went right. back home to his home country in the Middle East, and then uh, I, I tracked him down. Found out he had another family. Tried to get him back on the podcast. He refused. I thought mm. he was going to show up at the live show. He refused to show up. Okay. As well to that. So. So what? Uh, is, what it's is over? What is uh, going on with you right now? Well, um, I have a cat army that I uh, that what's, I use what's to this do now? my bidding. Uh, an army of cats. A pussy posse. No, we don't call what, it that. This is not like the this... Leo DiCaprio, Toby Maguire pussy posse. Yeah, that's a, a pussy posse. I know that's your dream. Is, is that to the same? Have something is like that. That. Um, that ship has sailed. Molly's game. Is that what we're talking about? It's sort of. <laughs> What's Molly's game? It was uh, an elite <coughs> poker ring. Yeah, starring that's Idris Elba. That's all I need to know. Yeah. So <laughs> Jessica Chastain so pure, so young. <laughs> oh my gosh! And everything. So you have a you, you have a, a, cat, Bay? a cat army Perfect. that that does your bidding to do exactly what and how have you all sorts of things? We how ran have you a preschool. Them? We ran a. I didn't recruit them. They they come to they me come naturally to as an animal leader. And if you're asking if they breastfeed on her, they don't. They don't. I was they not asked that. They try to, but oh. they can't. There's no. Milk There's not there. enough nips to go around. That's right. How many nips do you have? Just the two. Just the two. Yeah. So and how many Just cats do you nip. have? Forty four cats. Cats. More Just than that. Uh, almost more? twice. Wow, wow, wow. Almost twice. That. 88 cats? Almost. Mm. Well, there's not a cat that has 88 nips anyway, so don't feel bad. Well, yeah, but we we could outsource. And I made yeah. I made sort of a Temple Grandin kind of machine. It's not a hugging machine. It's a nip machine mm. so that the kid the kids can all get in there and feed it can once. Can I borrow that? Ugh, I knew that was coming. How many mouths do you have? Well, it depends on the day. Ugh. I don't know. What does that mean? Depends on the day. Depends Doesn't on the day what we're doing. What, who's up what are house? you using who's on the house? Who's on the nip? Who's on the condo? Huh. Got it. Who's okay. In the condo? So anyway. We're not playing who's on the condo, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought you said condom. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Condom. Um, condoms. We don't use protection. So that's all that's going on protect. in your life is, is the that, cat that's army? All? Not all that. They all wear <laughs> tiny berets. You don't think that's a lot? of lay miss situation. The, you have over 80 cats wearing tiny berets. That's right. Who are sucking on a Temple Grandin machine's nips. <laughs> you know how hard it is to get cats to wear a costume? And they're keeping those berets on willingly. Yeah. So you, Wait, they're balancing them? They're, yes. they're not attached via strap? No. Oh, you need to no. get in touch with Purina or some kind of a cat food company because uh, this is nothing but a money making machine for you. Well, she's been doing a cat calendar, and they do, it took us so long to get the Les Mis shot down. Oh, that, that market is so flooded. Hard. That no, the cat calendar game is too crowded. Yeah, with two kittens, me. but eighty eight cats all dressed like the French cats Revolution. In each picture. Yeah, yeah that's uh, right. How do you heard that? That's amazing. Just a hi, and they just come. That's they just weird respond because to that. That's not a sound I've ever heard come out of a mother cat no. or a kitten. That's no, how they, they distinguish. Yeah, they respond to it. Well, you know what? We're coming up on a, a break here. Got it. And, uh, uh, I, you know, for the prom DJ, you haven't been playing any music, I have to they, say. They're, they're finding their own tunes out there, though. You see that, right? They sure yeah, are. That's why, no diggity. that's why everybody's wearing their headsets, right? Woo! It's like one of those silent... It's like silent hey, prom. Hey, yeah, it's like a silent prom. Break. I like those. Should we hit the dance floor and show everybody what yes, we're made of, Chaco? I really don't want to do that. Come on, sweetheart. Are you yes, ready? Seth, you take her. Yeah, yeah let's why go. are you fully erect? Get All right, on we're my gonna, back. We'll be Get right back. Get on my back, sweetheart. No. Here we go. We'll be right back with more comedy yeah. bang bang after this. Can I dance with you? Okay. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> Does that sound natural coming out of my mouth? Hey, y'all. Um, Got to talk to you today about uh, one of our oldest friends in podcasting and one of our oldest friends in business because uh, we here at Earwolf have been using them for, uh, seems like, uh, 
uh, three decades, but uh, I know it has to be shorter. Um, Stamps.com. Stamps.com, y'all. Uh, Stamps.com, what it is, is you know how everyone loves going to the post office. Uh, you can never say anything negative about the post office. It's an amazing place. All the stuff you can do. When you think about it, it's an amazing miracle that you can give something like wherever you are, whatever terrible town you live in, um, you can put something in a magic box and then the post office comes and picks it up and delivers it wherever you want in the world. All you have to do is pay them. I guess that's uh, anything in life. All you have to do is pay someone. <laughs> but but um, it's an amazing miracle, <clears throat> one of the greatest things that uh, this country has ever done. Um, and right now what Stamps.com does is it takes all of those amazing miracles – uh, and all of the services of the U.S. Postal Service, and it brings them right to your fingertips so you don't have to actually go to the actual post office. All you have to do, create your Stamps.com account in just merely minutes. How many minutes? We don't know. 320? I hope not. <laughs> Probably more around four. Uh, just create an account online, and then you can buy, print, Official U.S. postage for any letter or any package, any class of mail, no matter how complicated it gets, from postcards to envelopes to packages, domestic to international, all just using your own computer and your own printer and your own paper, I would guess. Um, just All you got to do is click, print, mail, you're done. Click, print, mail, you're done. Click, print, mail, you're done. Stamps.com makes it easy, and they will even send you, in order to figure out how much something should cost, a digital scale, which calculates the exact postage for whatever you want to mail. Stamps.com, it even helps you decide the best class of mail based on whatever it is, whatever your needs are. There's no need to lease an expensive postage meter. There's no long-term commitments. Like I said, we've been using them here for as many years as we've been in business, uh, and they're a great company. Right now, you can enjoy the Stamps.com service with a special offer. What it includes is a four-week trial plus postage and a digital scale. All you got to do, Go to stamps.com, click on a microphone, like a weird little microphone that's at the top of the homepage. And when you click that, type in bang bang. That's stamps.com, click on the microphone, enter bang bang. Stamps.com, it's like it's the icing on the cake of a of a uh, of a miracle that already exists. Does that make sense, y'all? <laughs> Welcome Woo! back, Comedy Bang Bang, and uh, we're back here at the Marina Del Rey High School prom uh, wompacular under the sea dance. We tore it up out there, didn't I we, am sweetheart? Winded. <laughs> yeah. I am winded. I have never swung you around that much for you, so long. You guys were <laughs> Taking doing almost out. yeah. It was almost like that swing dancing uh, revival yeah. from the nineties. I was pretending like she was uh, that I was at a Highlands game. That's right. right. A caper toss. I was That's like, right. I gotta toss this caper. You you have uh, something very special. I watched it. It was Thank very you. electric. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. you know so what? Much. It's terrible to have your stepfather at the prom, but I kind of feel like I got to lean in on this one. Yeah. I have to ask, why do you not have a date? I mean, where is Gutterballs? Uh, uh, oh, listeners boy. of the show know that Eric oh, Gutterballs Gutterman uh, has been your off and on boyfriend throughout right. many years here at Marina Del Rey. What uh, What's going on with him? Where is he? Well, uh, the last time, first of all, I had a pregnancy scare. No. Yes. Get what? What? And yes. now, when you say that, though, what does that mean? You thought you were pregnant. I thought I was pregnant, okay. and I Very scary. she didn't get last... her period because she had seven tampons shoved oh. up in there. Okay. Last I talked to you, you had only scissored him. That no things By the had way, progressed. Things escalated. If this is a yeah. podcast, I do want to give a, a health tip out. It is a podcast. Uh, yes. Women out <laughs> well, there, if you sure. don't want to use condoms. Because, uh, you know, it doesn't feel as good. Just shove a couple tampons in there and it will block everything and you won't get pregnant. That's not true. Yep. That's definitely not true. And the other thing that isn't true is that you can douche with Coca-Cola. You told Dana Rodman that and she got into a terrible situation. It really threw her pH yeah, off. You got to yeah. use ginger ale not, or no. ginger beer. What are you no, talking no. about? It is I a be- naturally self-cleaning mechanism like a cat's mouth. And ginger is not a naturally occurring cleansing agent. I mean, so, you so know, it's good for your stomach. In fact, it would ginger burn ale, the Ginger ale, Coca-Cola, out of natural yeah, flavor. Like a, I like them all. What about what about like a Moscow mule? Would that work? Cool. That would work I because the alcohol would support it. Kombucha Absolutely is also a good not. one. You can do no, a kombucha. No, you don't need to douche. 
douche. That's the point. What do you well, mean? Do you not douche? No, when he douches anymore, what guys. Oh, what? So Next the thing 70s was a lie? Are you telling me about all that douching in the 70s was for naught? Yes. That's right. Oh. That's Next correct. thing you're going to say is that we don't need to like have men shave women you know, for sport. What the yeah. fuck are you talking about? For sport? I don't know yeah. about yeah, this. Who does another the best, Highland Games? Who does the best shave? I mean, again, it's, no. you know, it's, you get it's a bu- true. Is it's this like a Sweeney, like game. that shaving contest in the middle of Sweeney Todd? Is this Barbershop yeah. 4? Uh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> Back to the shop. That's you know what I do one. like about those barbershop movies is it's fun, it's funny, but yeah. it also has a message. Yeah, and it's okay, all, thank you. It what takes is place the message? About gang violence hair. in Chicago. Oh, cut your hair is the message yeah. I got. Oh, yeah. Cut your hair, pull your pants up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have fun. Okay, have look, fun where, where is gutter balls? Okay, so we had a pregnancy scare, and okay. in that pregnancy scare, he how actually- long, How long did it last? Was well, it, it was during the live show. Oh, okay. Uh, we did a live so show. Yeah, yeah, about an hour. It was and a, I did well, took a, very a test. Scary hour. I took a test, and it came back negative. But before that, before I revealed that, he actually did say, hey, I'm going to stand by you. And I believe he proposed to me. He did. Oh. He did. He didn't. I was there. I was he very, definitely did not. I've never been I on was, board with him. Sweetheart. I was reading between the lines, and he proposed. What were the lines that he, you had to read between? He said, whatever happens... I will be present for it. Yeah. All the good stuff yeah. happens between the lines. That's yeah. right. Okay. All right. That's right. So, Blurred lines. Well, well he's the kind of great he, video. Never heard a woman. You guys want to watch a video right now? Pro blurred Negative. lines. Yeah, I love that. It's the hottest. I don't hell. play Robin Thicke on purpose. I love Emily Ratajkowski, <laughs> and I think she should go back to doing videos. At any rate. He then, I believe, if I, I don't want to give my own editorial about this, but he got scared. Uh, and that's mm. not something new for him. Mm. Um, but that drove him into the arms of a literotica saleswoman named Raven. Named Raven. Oh, who no. works Raven. at a really great erotic uh, uh, bookshop that I go on to. On Main Street. Occasion. Yeah. I love and, that place. And Raven is actually very good at her job. But, yeah. I, you know, great. I'm and not happy that she in stepped in there and took your crown She's got the short queen. bangs. And apparently they're living together now. Oh. Yeah. Uh, in Raven's studio above the above the store. How the short are these studio. bangs? Like all the way up to the very scalp? Very short. Yes. Very they're, short. They're like, uh, you would think it was almost like a buzz cut. Yeah. She looks like a she, mental patient, but sexy. Has, so. <laughs> and sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, sorry, and sexy. <laughs> but also, Marissa accepted a proposal of marriage from mm-hmm. a guy named Bruce Almighty, spelled Almighty, that and, I met at a Bible camp. Yeah. Wait, so this is Christian. like that movie, Bruce Almighty? Yeah, well, it's spelled that way, but it's pronounced Almighty. Almighty. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Fine anyway, so... But I think you broke up with him, right, yes, in Spanish? Yes, of course I did. I okay, did. so... so but the, he doesn't speak Spanish, sweetheart, so I don't know if he, he got the message. It. There Whatever were promposals that happened that came in. We got a couple vids. One. We, we got, got one one, one got video two, of, a, of a fan who wanted to take who you to Who was prom? the second one? I didn't see that. Yeah, oh, well, let's roll that video. You, and then we retweeted Where's the monitor? Them. Can we roll the video? There's well, no, maybe that was... This is not visual. Oh, then I can turn... Well, okay, right. Turn my head. I can turn my head. Anyway, okay. so I was hoping tonight that gutter balls would come. Sort of sweep in here like he officer and a gentleman. He was supposed to chaperone. He was supposed to be one of the teacher chaperones. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Officer and a gentleman is probably uh, a, a reference. Not a reference. Yeah, that's maybe like two years older than you would get. Or <laughs> Yeah, I don't... Uh, wait, that's uh, Deborah Winger, right? <laughs> okay, so you do yeah, know I've it. seen that one. I've okay, seen that yeah, one. I figured. have. Um... Uh, she dies in it, right? Of something? No. No, that's terms of endearment. That's oh God. Terms. Okay. Urban cowboy. In Shadowlands. In Shadowlands. Although right. we all die. <clears throat> oh my God! What a bummer. That's right. That's, that's why we have to embrace every day. It's like our last. We don't yeah. have to worry about the rules of society. We just we have to do, do what have we to worry feel. about it. Especially you should worry the about laws, it because you've yes. already been brought to court. How you got yourself off? On that, I have no idea. Yeah. How are you still walking around and able to to show up at a place like this? If you don't stick it in. You don't go. Oh, you don't go into the pen. Just the what? tip. I'm surprised no, no you tip. didn't react no to that. No, no tip. No tip. No tip. Everybody, I tell like, you, all these people more... saying just the tip is like, what's the alternative? Like, but, like you can't the, get just the, the shaft in there. Part. You get the middle part in there. You <laughs> bend it. You, you can bend you it in there, and you kind of you, you can can't just, bend it like Beckham. You cannot fold yes, it in half. Yes, you can. And jam the. You can. What I like to call is called a scoop. You just drop the balls right on the top. You put it right. It's almost like an ice cream cone. 
<laughs> yeah, I call it a Fuck! yoo-hoo. It's like a yoo-hoo because you make a little U shape yeah. and you just yeah. get in there. And then you say yoo-hoo. <laughs> and, it, and it, you know what? That's a good sexual practice because you won't get diseased that way. Yeah. You know what's not, so you know? great is the more you old Two people scoops. talk about this, the more I will never have sex again. So oh. thank you So you, you did very have much. sex with gutter well, balls one time. Uh, not really. Could have been a coat rack. Oh, uh, inside a coat rack or meaning the actual, the like, actual physical? Thing. Okay. Could that have happens. been a coat rack. I, you were riding on something. Something fell on me. Ooh. Oh. Anyway, it's a lot for your listeners to take. Well, I, know. I mean, really. yeah. And, you know, and, and, and dispel the shame around it, sweetheart. A lot of people have mistaken inanimate objects for a lover. Uh, I guess so. I guess so. But I've used bad inanimate about, objects you know? during lovemaking, but never as the object of my. Family. I for a long time I thought the VCR was uh, your your mother. What? It was for just blinking time. twelve. Yeah, you know, we were just we like a number five is alive type. Well, of we scenario? put a, we put a. How bit, do you know that reference? We put a pillow on the top of it because it gives off a buzzing sound, so it's kind of soft to begin with. And if you get up in the middle of the night and you're sleepy and you you drank a little bit before you went to bed and you kind of stumble up to it, it's you gonna, hump a v, a VHS machine. You don't hump it. You make love. To oh it. God! Right. Wait, do you have sort of a wider uh, penis that? Uh, well, well, it's thin. I, it's like an asparagus, a white asparagus. How do you know? It can be. It, it, I said wide, but not wide. Why are you smiling? I'm saying, like, Why are you so turned like you on like by fun. it? No, because the first time that Seth and I ever met, mm-hmm. he got up in the middle of the tell night. Me, tell me that story again, because I love this story. He what? got up in the it middle is. of the Please night don't for get a, a midnight snack. I had fallen asleep on the couch <gasps> multiple mm-hmm. times. You'd been uh, Marissa's teacher. You'd taken her home. You fell asleep on the couch. That's right. Suddenly, Seth gets up in the middle of the night. He's stark naked. He opens the cold refrigerator. and I want a snack thought it was a come on. So I came up behind him <laughs> silently, stealthily, because I'm also a sniper, and I yeah. said, turn around. Ooh, I heard that. And then I heard a thin peen Just a flop th- into the Faget <laughs> yogurt. Yeah. And then we stayed like that for nigh on six hours. It was awkward. So yeah. then imagine my disgust. I get up in the morning. And you I, see the impression. Of what looked like a white asparagus. Right. A thin white asparagus. I mm-hmm. see. Out yes. of season. Right. How would you know right. that the color of the asparagus? It just, would you just assume this is a green asparagus? Is there something you would else? assume it, but sometimes the white ones are thinner and more dehydrated. Well, and also. <laughs> and that's what it looked like. I might have. Being in the yoga that long, no, you no, start no, to no, kind no. of molt a little bit, so that it might have been a little bit of myself that came came out. Hey, how is how is your uh, your mother, by the way? Uh, what what is her name again? Diane. Uh, Diane. Diane. Right. She's good. She's in Florida still at this. She's uh, doing a, a holding therapy retreat in oh, Orlando. Holding, mm-hmm. holding uh, therapy. I, I, I did that here at the school. You basically just hold someone, and it's sort of a therapeutic we don't hold enough yeah you, you go you, back to the womb I think what you were talking about is you just embraced Dana Rodman yeah for hours and hours yeah, and she's hours she's a very healthy girl it's also called cocooning. she's got into a very good school she sold a movie script like we talked about she sold a book I mean I think she's doing great I think it worked what well, school did she get into Stanford Oh, that's yeah, a good it's good school. school. Okay, yeah, good, really good school. I so, mean, most of the most of it is people feel so terribly bad for her because she's having like a girl interrupted type breakdown almost mm, every day of her life. Uh, you know, right. come on, girls are emotional. Get over it. <laughs> I don't know about that. If you're not crying once a day, you're not a woman, right? Uh, uh, I don't know. That uh, is Casey. true. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, so your mother is is she's off. okay. So I have a step. I have a step sibling. They mm-hmm. had a baby. Yeah, you guys. Uh, you, you, Seth. You had a baby. Yeah, yeah. Seth okay. and, Diane and Diane had a baby. Yeah, okay. I, did, I didn't put it in the VCR this time. If you know what I mean, do I need to explain it? Nope. Okay. I just didn't want make, to make sense sure. the first time. All right. All right. At any rate, they. Uh, yeah, they had. They got pregnant, and I. Uh, I way, went away that's what for I call two sex, years. Putting a tape in the VCR. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Do you just now? Do you say that? It's not clever. Because of what we were just talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's how I call it. Oh, you should have mentioned that earlier <laughs> when it came up. So. Also, you put a tape in the VCR, but you ooh. don't pull it out yeah. and put it back in again. If you yeah, do that, yeah. you would break the tape. No, I don't. So sex for you is just putting it in and then and keeping it. it there. Yeah. Put it in and then Rest the show begins. Yeah. No, and then and then you then just the keep it there. And yeah. then oh, hold on. And then <laughs> the machine does the rest. Yeah, you know so what I mean. So it's up to everyone else to do all of the other work. Is you just what are put we it talking in? about right now? <laughs> We're talking about <laughs> my metaphor. Yeah, when his I put metaphor, it in his metaphor, which is my actual practice. This is why you have sex with younger women because they don't know. Have you that ever that's had a relationship good. with anyone your own age, CS? People my age are, don't get it. They don't get what. 
it. I mean, they're so... Uh, it's like so held up in their own beliefs and everything like that. They're, they're their just, beliefs that you should be with someone your own age. What's the oldest woman you've ever had a relationship with? Twenty. Twenty. Yeah, so, I mean, I, and I, I am embarrassed to even say it because it feels embarrassing that like I went with somebody that that was that kind of like locked in her ways. Okay, so you've never dated someone who could actually go into a, a like a bar. No, why would you want to go to a bar? What's there to do there? Can, well, you have, have a full at bar at home. Yeah, That's right. Home. He does have so many. You know what it is? Mostly Bartles and James. <laughs> yeah, I have one. I love a full, When you say full bar, you mean like every yeah. type of full of flavor. Bartles and James. Yes. Yeah, every full type Bartles. of flavor. <laughs> strawberry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Passion strawberry fruit. wine, passion fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Tropical breeze. Um, hey, Robin. I'm coming for you, man. Oh, my God. Oh, Why are you doing that this? Hold on. No, Mr. no, no, no. Let me talk no. to this guy right now. Oh, no. okay. Don't go after Mr. CS, Rodman. Don't do it. Oh. Hey, Peso. Play some, play some music to... to... Hey, so eyes open. We got a situation, maybe. They said that that's what your name was. I'm sorry. That's I'm sorry. A... <laughs> so he he's he's going after Mr. Rodman? Yeah, this is a no. terrible idea. Okay. I don't know what's going to happen. Although, you know what? This prom does need <laughs> to get kicked up a notch because there's like At nothing. At least one. Yeah, nothing's happening. No music is being played. No well, music. we're just out Until here. now. Finally, the, the kids are going out to dance right now. They've all been just like sitting we'll by the... We'll cut it short. Don't worry. <laughs> So what? Uh, uh, so anyway, I was telling you, uh, they had a, a baby while uh, Listler had to go uh, off the grid. Right. Uh, she found out there was a chip implanted in her, much like a born. Uh, really? Who implanted a, a chip inside you? I can't say. The hmm. government, probably. Okay. But we had to go both go on the lamb for two years. We were. I remember this. The world. Yes, yeah. I remember. This we is one of our last of, episodes. Yeah, yeah. dashiki fever. Yeah, yeah so, dashiki fever. Right. So and, a little bit of empty nest uh, situation at home. We sure, but although her. you had a new baby. Well, we 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 missed her after about a week. Well, we're they like, cleared oh. out my bedroom immediately. Yeah. Uh, and then we started the cubby under the stairs, which is the cubby under the stairs. Filled it up with shit they got at Costco. Yeah, okay. and then yeah, they we have a lot of it. And then they named their baby Castaway. 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 It's, it's Castaway. Really- Castaway. Okay, so sort of like Wilson, uh, the movie that uh, you know Wilson, the the tetherball. I didn't realize it at the time, but yeah, because we had watched it the night before, and I just is the first thing I thought of when I said it, and I was like, oh, that sounds Castaway. Good. Yeah, Castaway. And <laughs> right. so we went with it, you know, because that's uh, my follow a policy of like. First, imp- first thought, best thought. First thought, best thought. First impression, best impression. First action, best action. Sure. It's so. not a great way to live. But anyway, oh, I came home. I came home after two years. I thought they would be so happy to see me. It was much like when Tom Hanks came home. I don't know if that's Helen Hunt who plays his wife. But she's yeah. just like, you, you know all these old references. Yeah, yeah. it's like, oops. Oops. You know, I have another wife. I have another life. And that's what, I come home and there's a new child there. And, yeah. you know, and my and my storage, my, my bedroom's filled with gigantic jars of pizza. Peanut butter, wow. and uh, do you so like, anyway, are you a chunky man? Look at my frame. No, I mean oh, uh, peanut oh, butter. I see what you're talking about. Uh, you're very round, like a woman. No, no, we buy sort of this off brand that's very liquid. <laughs> it's like most of it is oh, the okay. oil, oil that you get from the peanut butters. Extra oily. Yeah, we just drink it. It's very good. It's, it's a good protein. protein. Yeah, it's, it's a protein. A, it's treat. like a smoothie. Yeah. It's like a yeah. protein flood in your body. But it's just like a big chunk of oil. Going yeah, down your mainly. gullet. And with little bits of, I guess, peanuts in there. I, I guess. I, I don't so. know. I mean, you're getting a good deal on it. Right. Yeah. So uh, that must be very terrible at home for you to, to feel it's left okay out. Now. It's okay it's now. It's okay right. now because, be well, Diane, w- the whole point of this is Diane did not bond with the baby at all. And as no. you know, she's never touched me. Yeah. The right. only she's time never I touched, touched her is when I came out of her vagina. So That's I said it. to her, I was like, Second, honey, this is your chance. This is your chance to get back in there and really And do it right this time. Do it right. And and she yeah. said, and she, I'm not interested. So so she's never touched this baby? Not yet. Castaway? Not yet. That's Is what? Castaway a boy or a girl? Or girl. Uh, undetermined at this well, point? Well, I don't want to put labels on. I think right. we should. We, yeah. we should. A girl. By the way, we should allow them to declare what they are. Yes. Yeah, we're just, we're calling it it. We're calling it they. We're mm-hmm. calling it us. Mm-hmm. We're calling it them. We're calling everything but something definitive right. as to okay. male or female. And Castaway could be either because it's a made-up nonsense name based on a movie. Yeah. Thing you know all these different yeah. verbs. Uh, so I uh, let now. So what we're doing is uh, she's away in Florida at a uh, sort of. A, it's a, like a it's like a retreat. therapy retreat. It's okay. called holding therapy. You're supposed to go down with your child. She's left Castaway back 
Okay. Uh, with baby us. Steps. It's baby steps. That's and sure. we How all long we has do- she been gone? Mm. It's been months now. Yeah, Come to the chase, Lisa. Like. It's been a few About months. About six been months. Gone. Six months. And what is she know. holding? Not well, sure lots of a lot of lot of other grown ups that are at the thing. We get a lot of on our okay. Instagram feed, which is the only time we hear from her. Mm-hmm. We see we don't hear from her. We just track what she's up to. She's in so many different hot tubs. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So she's just on a Florida vacation. No. Like jaunting it. from hot tub to no. hot tub. Seems she's like recreating. It, yeah. She's identifying with what it's like to be in the womb. The womb. Thank you. Okay. And she's she's getting in touch with the child inside of herself, inside that child that she can't access. I see. Is she ever coming back? I. It's not up to me. It's up it, to yeah, her. Yeah, it's, it's up to her. It's up yeah. to her Russian doll child inside the other child in her. Okay. It's this up is to all that, that hairless Russian she was in that was inside of her probably. And that, in, we don't know that. That was in that hot tub. Okay, no, no. well, th- that's terrible. So it sounds like the, the family has been torn asunder. No, but to no, be honest, it's great. Fine. With her fine. out, we're Lis- getting along great. Yeah, Listler, have you seen great. any openings here? Have you? Uh... What does that mean? Well, I mean, you know. you. Uh... Of course, I've seen openings. <laughs> oh, I walk around with eyes open for openings all the time. Sure, but, uh, you know, You Seth... mean how to pop in as a mother figure? Uh, sure, Seth has been unencumbered here for six months now. I'm yeah. over this. You're you're no longer interested. I, well, it's hard to get over this. I acknowledge that. I don't want to make this awkward. But. You don't want this though, and I'm not going to keep you know banging my head against a wall that isn't accepting. You know what? I'm I'm going through some changes myself with the loss of my podiatry what business. What kind of changes? Well, just I'm opening myself up to all sorts of openings and and opportunities. I mean, if if your mother needs to be following this journey down there with all these different people holding her in hot tubs. That's her thing. And okay, so but what's I, your what thing? What is your thing going to be? Well, I would like to. I, I'm okay with having some encounters with people while your mother's away. So is that why you've been that's... parking your car on the corner? Are people I've parking been... your car on the corner? What does that mean? Well, I, is that doing, a euphemism? Between doing... four and five every afternoon, okay. he goes out in his Hyundai Sonata and, I do and something... parks on the corner. And I do something oh, called God. a little toot toot. He's Shit. back. It's called a little toot toot. Oh, wait. See us. Can you, what you erase the this? fuck, man? Can no, we can't. It? This goes erase live today. Wait, hold we on. Can't. We're, we're, we're coming up on a break. Casey. Cut the fucking camera. Yeah, Casey. What? Oh, we are on camera. Well, I've been looking right and left like crazy. I look like an idiot now. What we're, happened? We're going to hear what happened to Casey Steers when we come back. Uh, more from the prom womptacular from Marina Del Rey High School. So, Under the Sea Dance. I'm not going to talk about what I do on the corner in my Hyundai? Is All anybody right, going to uh, fuck me tonight? Oh, no, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Good God, Damn Marissa. It. I'm That's talking so much about blood. my journey. So much fucking blood. Jesus Christ. What? So much blood. We'll be right back. Uh, Here comes the bride, all dressed in white. You know the rest, guys. Um, Wedding season is upon us, isn't it? You're going out there, you're watching all your friends get married, maybe some of your enemies. I hope that you go to at least one enemy's wedding this this year. Um, People love to get married in the summer, don't they? Usually from uh, May to September. I got married in September. It's a great time. Uh... From May to September, wedding season is here. And when you go to these, usually you're bringing a date and you want to look good, don't you? Guys, that is where the blacktux.com comes in. It lets you rent great suits and tuxedos in every style, all done completely on line. With the Black Tux, you can take your style to the next level, whatever level you're on. You might think you're on the highest level. I doubt it. You might think you're on the lowest level. I, that, that sounds a little more believable to me. But whatever level you're at, take it to the next level in funky, funky, cool, funky, cool options like, check this out, the Emerald Shawl Tuxedo. Whoa. I don't even know what that is. It sounds awesome. Blow it out for your big one-time event. And with a free home try-on, You can feel the quality and the fit months before your event. After ordering, your suit is going to arrive 14 days before your event. If anything is less than perfect, the Black Tux is going to change it. They're going to send you a replacement right away. Don't worry about that. All you got to do is just put it on, wear it, turn heads, send it back three days later. It's easy. Shipping, by the way, is even free both ways. 
That's how easy this is, okay? I mean, the black talk, I, to be honest, I was thinking of a business like this. For, I was like, it's like Netflix for suits is what I would say to everyone. They would look at me crazy. They'd be like, you can you, you, you watch a suit? I mean, I've watched Suits, the TV show. And I think that Meghan Markle is pretty good in it. But watching a suit, and that, it just got too confusing. So anyway, the Black Talks stole my thunder. Um, but if you want to steal everyone else's thunder, then you got to go to the Black Tux. To get $20 off your purchase, visit theblacktux.com slash bangbang. That's theblacktux.com slash bangbang. You're going to get $20 off your purchase. The Black Tux. Premium rental suits and tuxedos delivered. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Prom Wamptacular, live from Marina Del Rey High School, the Under the Sea Dance. We're here with Marissa Wampler and Miss Listler. And uh, Seth uh, Wampler as well is here, and he's gonna uh, was about to tell us what he uh, was uh, doing in his car from okay, between so four and five. Let's just recap. But before oh, right, before okay, he... Could do that. Should address. Casey Steers came in here covered in blood. He had gone after Dana Rodman's father here, uh-huh. Mr. Rodman. Fucking bastard. Did you use the karate? The kill rate? Kill rate. Yeah. Is he dead? I don't know. What? Well, we need to erase all of this. We can't. This, is an alibi this that has I been going out live. You murdered someone. Let's you just pretend we're back. Flee. Let's just pretend we're back. Hey, what's going on? Well, we no, are we back. can't. This here is going out hour. live. Everybody's heard it already. Okay, let me tell you something. Well, be Crimes careful. of the heart. Or not crimes. They are crimes. It's it doesn't right there matter. in the title. Crimes. Do you mean crime of passion? Th- yeah, that's because also crimes. <laughs> crimes of passion. Oh, 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 I know what to do. Okay, we pretend like this is a radio play. Okay. Yeah. We, this yeah. is like a serialized okay. kind of thing. Like, like a yeah, 1940s, yeah, yeah. like, okay, yeah, yeah, everyone try, yeah. I'm a gumshoe. I'm a gumshoe. Yeah, oh, you found me okay. out, kiddo. I was yeah. just joking. I was just joking. No clip one's no clop, one's Clip, clop, uh, clip, clop. Woo, woo. It looks like I solved another uh, this murder. This is terrible. That's, well, what you gave happened? up there. Nothing, nothing what happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Let me just say that you uh, first of all, you called him over. That's what's fucking weird. He didn't even see you. He d- he. You were in costume. He was looking for me. You know what? No, he- he's on his fucking high horse, owning that stupid yogurt shop. Let me tell you something. You know what? Fixins and mixins. Yeah. You that's know what a you great get? yogurt shop. That's yeah, like really eight. Good. That's gold star yogurt. Let's just say I made some yogurt today myself. What do you mean? What? Did you actually make yogurt? I grabbed him by the throat. Oh, okay. I squeezed so tight. <laughs> <laughs> Let oh, me his feel, his me throat out. exploded? Let me feel your hand strength. Here. I don't want to touch your peen, dude. <laughs> I don't want to touch your nug. I, I always Put it say, away. Keep, I, I say keep one hand on that and one hand on my hand. No, no, you no, see, no, it's no. like a, Let like me one feel of those your hand strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. So wow, that, that there's was, no way you're crushing a throat with that. That was like the end of Over the Top where they just like both clasp hands and hey, they're you equal, hear the song equally from matched. That? Yeah, yeah I, I do. Yeah, yeah, of course I, I do. do. Well, who doesn't want to hear the Meet song me from halfway. Over the Top? Yeah. Across oh, the Stars? Kenny Loggs. All right. Well, let's Dan, hear if you're hearing this, the song is from me to you. Hold on. Wait, because you just killed her father? That's not a good dedication. <laughs> that's, not, that's not good that at all. Like very, what do you think? I'm telling What's you, meet me halfway. Game? What is meet your... me halfway. Now that he's out of the picture, we can be together. Between okay, where? You're Here out in of Las co- Vegas? What? He said, she said. Where that, do you want to meet her? I'll meet her wherever. She's well, out of high school now. But it's got to be halfway? I we're, thought you were going to go for halfway the Halfway between here and Stanford? DM me the way we talked about. Send me that Marco Polo. My secret Marco Polo is still active. Nobody's doing Marco Polo anymore. Do you have a peach account? Well, it depends. Who's asking? How old are you? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's not a woman. Do you use that message app? Send me a message. That's what, what? I've been using. I, I that's, have, just, that's someone texting you, Seth. Is that what it is? Yeah, just saying, send me a message. Because I always respond to us, thank you for your message. Oh, God <laughs> help us. I thought that's what the protocol. What right, happened? Right. So, so you squeezed his throat so tightly that yogurt, yogurt came, came out, out of his mouth? <sighs> Human yogurt. Human yogurt and meaning... And you just eaten oh. yogurt? <laughs> and you were squeezing Ooh, it back up like, like a yogurt? Like I grabbed him by his throat so hard. This prom is sponsored by Gogurt. Oh, that's right. There's those big yogurt. Isn't it also sp- sponsored by Fage yogurt? <laughs> it too? Is. Yes. With that's the uh, white asparagus. Which is a conflict of interest. <laughs> yeah. They're oh, going to be pissed. I got to say that it's asparagus yogurt is it, it is ta- it tastes good. It tastes good. You wouldn't think it tastes good. It tastes you good. digress. Tell us what happened. He's dead. Okay. 
fucking vultures. You want me to tell you every detail? Yeah, I grabbed him by the throat. He shit his pants, and then oh I curbed God. him. I gave him a curb job. So shit uh, out the back, yogurt put, out the front. And I put his cur- mouth on the front of the stage, right under that big dolphin. No, no, no. She and, can't hear this. She can't hear oh this. Oh, my God. And then I wait, put wait, my yogurt right on the, the back of his neck. Oh, until I heard oh, a crack. That's what curbing is? Yeah. Wait, you didn't know what curbing was? No, I thought you just dropped someone on the curb and say, see you later, motherfuckers. No, well, it's, it's so a good make thing. Make them you're... bite the curb. Guys, guys, it's a good thing you're confessing because I'm a gumshoe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 we're past the gumshoe. Is it too far? Because yeah. he just confessed to a murder on live. Okay, radio? you know what? Is this radio? I'm going, baby. I'm going, and you can follow me wherever you want. There's no rules in Ecuador. No, not to you. Well, you just Dana. told us where you're going, yeah, Ecuador. Don't, don't tell them where you're is going. Is Dana already in Stanford? Dana, I know where you are. Stanford. I'll come for you. Don't just come wait for her. Me. She's like doing so well. And bring right one of your doormates. No. Bring one of your doormates. Oh, get hot. out of here. No I fatties don't. or butterfaces. CS, get out of here. I hope oh he doesn't get out. This shouldn't go to Ecuador. Well, this, this is, is a terrible. You know what, situation. though? It is terrible, but it's also very exciting because I kind of felt like we needed something to happen. We need a little happen. drama we to happen. We needed here, drama. Yeah. Gutters isn't here. Danielle Bartiromo didn't show up. Excuse Tracy Reardon. me. Oh, no. I'm here. Oh. Daphne. Yeah. Hello. Were you. Hey! I, I thought saw- you were dead or had turned into the angel of death. Oh, something like that certainly happened. With something me, like that? Shumpling, like this. Shumpling, yes. Have you ever been to P.F. Chang's and had yeah. the shumplings? Oh, they're delicious. Oh, those are good. Uh, Wait. Dabney Cole person, caricaturist to the stars. Da- hey, Dabney, I thought we might see you because I because saw that you there was... Because you hired me, yes. Yes, because I hired you to do You're caricatures. Very late. You're very yes. late, do you play soccer? Uh, no, agents? never played no? it before. Well, here's a caricature of you playing soccer. This is terrible. This doesn't. This looks like a like grimace b- b- playing soccer. Yeah, that's what you look like. That's I'm true. F- afraid to tell you. And why am I on a tiny little convertible? <laughs> well, also driving while I hate, kicking. A- I hate to draw feet. Okay. So, uh, how is uh, the prom been here for you all? Well, there was just a very tragic and very gruesome murder that happened. Oh, let me draw that. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh. I would assume shit came out the back and yogurt out the front. That's yeah. absolutely correct. Okay. Okay. It happened wow. as, as a curbing. Oh, you oh, got okay. that. That's there great. it is. Yes, wow. Of course, I put big. the curbs Look how graphic right it is when the head is enlarged yes. like that. Oh, That's and he's crazy. playing tennis. Some have said I should do storyboards for the movies. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Have you ever done a caricature of the Easter Island heads? Because I that have. would be like Of course. Gigantic. Yeah, well, because the heads are larger yeah. Than, yeah. Than, than the bodies. Just the tiniest little bodies. <laughs> yes, I'd like to see that. Well, of course, I am bound by the caricature uh, code to always do uh, heads at uh, full scale and bodies right. at one tenth scale. Right. So, and the lips are always so much bigger, it's right? Always so because those are the most defining char- uh, characteristic of any human. Are the, the lips? Are yeah, rosy. the fish lips on any human. What is happening here at prom? Who can uh, who can I draw? Well, listen. Actually, the police should be here any minute. It's going to be a really tough situation because everybody's screaming no, 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 inside. Not, not the police. I can't be seen by. Why? The what did you do? I uh, I have a history with uh, those motherfuckers. Oh, a history oh. of what? What could you have possibly done that could have? I'm a hundred and five years old. What so haven't cheating, I done? You're cheating death. I've gone through every crime in the penal code one oh. by one. Oh, I bet you're one of the weathermen, right? One of those guys from Chicago. I was one of the weathermen. Yeah, I knew yeah. it. He's got that vibe. What's a weatherman? An old-fashioned I, criminal? It's like an old sixties anarchy group. I was one of the cool. people who kidnapped Patty Hearst. Oh, wait, is this like the age of Adeline, where like you're still you're gonna live through? No one saw <laughs> yes, that movie. I did. I'm like the zealot of violent crimes. Why did you now. see that movie? The age of Adeline. No, because no, Blake no. Lively is stunning in everything. I've seen every movie, so of course I've seen that one. Dabney, this is this is some. Tough I can't stuff. be caught again. Well, where's Mrs. Cole person? I thought you were going to bring her along and have a and have a a, a date. Here I have at some the terrible prom. news for you. No, did you kill her? Mrs. Cole, that was the the one crime I hadn't done. Oh, oh no! The worst commandment. What happened? Well. Can I just say, shit out the back, yogurt out the front. Oh, my God. You murdered her? I 
Choked her to Why? death. Why? Oh. Because she didn't like your caricature? She didn't like my caricature of oh, her. You she, know what? She was like, I don't play soccer. My body isn't that tiny, and I have feet. Crime of passion. You know what? I think that'll hold up in court. You can say you undermine your, your masculinity, your sense of Daphne, self. Daphne, do you want to turn yourself in tonight? Because this would be the chance, maybe, to, yeah, to the clear the slate clean. Minute. They'll never fucking catch me! <laughs> but they will. I'm going to live another 105 years. He's trying to run away, so but he's so slow. slow. Oh, I'll do all move. the crimes again. I've he's been standing so obese. We're like walking around him in a circle. As also, he's he has an away. easel. Have... He's dragging an enormous easel. Oh, I have made about three feet away from you. <laughs> yep, I know. Dabney. I'm just going to shut the Dabney. door here so he has a You forgot with that your crepe paws. Oh, let me out this thing. Come yeah, on. I'm da- just holding it. Just barely holding it. Give me out this thing. Yeah, I know. There you go. Okay, you now let me out of here. Ow. All right, just, just here, stop that. Well, right. I'm not paying him on PayPal. I'm not yeah. doing it. Venmo me, please. No, I won't. You know what? We can just pin both murders on him and be done with this. Remark. Let him get away. They so, know where he lives. So wait, pin both murders wait on Dabney? Wait a second. I what? have something to say. What, Marissa? Every time Dabney shows up, you disappear. Look, so what is, is it? It's your fear of getting a caricature done by of No, him, let me tell yourself? you the truth. I've been hired by the local newspaper to get pictures of Dabney Coleperson. So anytime that he appears, oh, I need to rush wow. off and get my camera yeah. and get into some... But you never make it back in time. I never make it back in time you to get him, You never make it back in time. Although, I not hire you yeah. anymore. So, but wait, this is a good idea. Let's just pin these murders no on him. And then, and then great idea. Casey can come back and... Because and, uh, you know what? Dabney's lived a long he's, life. Yeah, he's, he's, he's living on borrowed time. And CS has so much more he could do so with his life. So give. much more to give. So many more places to travel. I mean, Germany, India. Yes. The two places, Ecuador. Ecuador, yeah. clearly. Let's get him back here. Get we have a live recording, just FYI, of both of these men confessing <laughs> To these murders, that so unless might be they true. can shape yeah, but let's get their real. Voices. Who's listening to comedy? Bang bang. I Seth, am, do you, yeah. do you mind? Oh, am. he's I, back. I was listening. I can't thank you guys enough for what you're about to do, and we make a blood pact here today. That I don't want to cut secret. myself. You've cut open your penis. Yes. What is Why is there blood coming out of the penis. tip of your penis? Right. Everyone touch just your the tip. Get whatever yeah. you want, whatever you need to get. I'm the not blood gonna lick my. Hey, this isn't it. blood. This is just Kool Aid. All right, whatever. Why are you dipping your dick in Kool Aid? Was that the punch here? Yes, that's the punch. You're uh, dipping your dick in the punch? Now that's a crime you should be put away for. Right, yeah, right. this, is this like that's a dentist nasty. who would collect semen and that's squirt it into nasty. people's mouths? Did that happen? I got the joke <laughs> of that. No one happen. ever got the joke of that. I got the joke what of that. What joke? There's it's not no a joke. joke. Radio. Uh, oh, but when Ashton Kutcher does something, it's a hilarious show that we're going to keep on for seven years. It's a prank. He wasn't, it's a joke. He wasn't injecting jizz into people's mouths. You don't saying, know. Have you seen the whole video of the dentist? Justin Timberlake? Have you seen the, the, the whole one? Justin Timberlake one? Yeah, they didn't show all the footage. They did, they, I, he did that to I, Justin Timberlake? Yeah, he wouldn't sign the release unless I took it out. Yeah, and then Justin Timberlake did it to that guy they did com- he did commercials with. Yeah, it was just, uh, yeah. from Six Flags. Well, no, but Flags, I, heard right? guy, no, I heard that guy. I heard that guy asks for it. I heard that guy brings his own syringes full of other people's jizz and asks for it. Oh, to his be process shot is fascinating. Oh, yeah. It's weird because he's just playing a newscaster. It's no bigs. Well, he also puts it in his shoes and his pants. He just like coats himself from underneath the desk. It's, it's fucking weird, it's man. Weird. Well, you know, whatever. So, Marissa, I'm sorry that this hasn't turned out to be exactly the prom that you wanted. I yeah. Mean, well, what did you envision when you... Mm, I when- guess I envisioned gutter balls coming in here and, and saying to me, you know... Uh, I broke up with Raven. I can't stop thinking about you. Mm. And then I was going to push push you away. You would fight for me. Can I, tell you, can I tell you something? What, you love me? In the words of Miss Listler here, turn around. Because there's someone in the doorway here. Whoa. I just saw it. Oh my wow. Turn around. Wow. Oh, my God. Turn oh, my God. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. Turn it's around. just a silhouette. Yeah, it's a Bali yeah. silhouette. Hello. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought Hi. it was. <laughs> I left my pad here. God, it looked like gutter balls in silhouette. Okay, I'll see you later. Damn it. Where's the gutter balls? Damn it. Sorry, I thought that was gutter balls. I'm so well, first sorry. of all, I don't know why you thought that because in silhouette, it look, he looks like Alfred Hitchcock. He it does. looks nothing like gutter balls. Boom, 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 why didn't you take boom, boom, a picture boom, boom. of him? He was right there. He, you had the shot. You, you had the shot. <laughs> That's you didn't true. take it. I, I wasn't ready. Oh, my God. You shouldn't put your camera back after you don't take the picture. By the way, you're, if your silhouette artist wanted to come by and get that amazing Alfred Hitchcock silhouette. Uh, I am the silhouette artist. Whoa. Yeah. I use my camera to take all these pictures. Um, I'm, I need I'm, to take your shirt. Somebody give me their shirt. What? what? Give me your shirt. Give me those umbros, whatever it is. Yeah, it I, you I, can I, have my shirt. I need to get rid yeah. of this shirt. What? Yeah, you're you going to finally take pictures of me? 
No, yes. I just need it. I need to get rid of the blood. Yes. Here you go. Okay, oh, well, here's oh, part oh, of it. Thanks. Yeah. Here's part of my umbra. Here's okay, one so wait, umbra. Seth has given him his shirt, and I'm not, yeah, and yeah, Hitler's so given. Well, I mean, it's near the end of the prom. Some fucking craziness has to happen, and if, and if a stepdad can't get a party started, who's going to get it started? All right. Swax. So, what this party uh, started, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Is that what, the flight? what kind of prom only lasts an hour? By the way. <laughs> well, <laughs> listen, when somebody gets two people almost get mur- mur- murderly yeah. brutered is what I was going to say. Murderly brutered. There is something in that punch, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not just my dick. No, they have to turn dick. apparently. Wait, you, have... you've had so much punch by the way. <laughs> <I> <laughs> what's in this punch? Because well, it tastes salty. It's uh, wiener. It's wiener uh, Wiener droppings. juice? You know, by drinking the punch, we've already kind of went to you know, James third Town. base. Yeah. yeah. So why don't we just do it for real? To Jones. Jamestown? <laughs> you know, where everybody killed themselves. <laughs> the first American colony? So wait, Listler went to <laughs> a cult and killed himself. <laughs> and... Okay, no. look. Uh, you guys see Wild Wild Country? This has been bad, right, but... Are you guys ready for my performance? You guys see Wild Wild Country? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, 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 my God, the, the cats! The you cats are here. Come, they are delightful. Look at them. Oh, my oh God, God, they're funny. dancing! Wow. Okay, I'm going to dance wow. with the cats. I'm going to dance with these cats. Oh, this is fantastic. How did she Do get not. those little blazers on them? Whoa. Oh, my God. Wow. They're, and they're all wow. voluntarily the keeping on. them on. Okay, kids, you ready to party? I know the music's been a little spotty, but it's time to get to d- 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 down. I'll see you in someone, Ecuador. Someone shoot these cats! No, 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 Guys, don't worry. Those weren't bullets. That was coming out of Mr. Rodman's ass. The police picked <laughs> Mr. Rodman up and used him to fire butt bullets. Is that what you're saying? That's right. Oh. So my cats are not dead. They've just been what temporarily I did is so nailed. So, so less just bad based on what I just human saw. Feces? Yes. Oh, we're all right. But, oh, we're, okay. we're just we're just covered in <laughs> diarrhea splatter. I've, I've just been uh, shredded by cats, and now I'm covered in human feces. Thank God. No, uh, is, guys, this uh, is a prom uh, that we're never gonna forget. Oh my okay? gosh! So. It might not have lived up to any of our expectations, but it's one that is we are never. And look, you'll gonna, have oh another one next year. Sweetheart, so you'll, sweetheart. You'll, you'll get a chance to. And I'll have to another one next it. week. There's a school, high school down the block That's that. Uh, weird, sweetheart, man. you know what we have to do? We have to get a prom picture. Okay. To have this memory for everybody. everybody get in here. Okay. Come I'll take on, it. I'll take it. Take, take it. Both of you take off your tabs. Here we go. Uh, mine's already off. Does here he have his camera? You have your camera. Yeah, I got it right here. Wait, whose camera are we using? Hey, let's have Dabney just sketch it. Oh, yeah. Can someone say my name? Yes. How, many, how many of you play soccer? No, wait, 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 Daphne, we have to have Choctaw in the picture, so just let's... Where'd he go? I don't know. <laughs> we can't do the picture without him. I mean, there's no way. Uh, Is he that guy who's been trying to take pictures of me? That's yes, right. He's, he's a... You know what? You snooze, you lose. Draw right, it up, Daphne. Here, so get in here. Try to... Okay. Get in here, here a little closer. Ow, ow, ow. A yeah. little closer. <laughs> say <laughs> cheese. 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 Say, so. say soccer. Soccer as well. Peso, you get in here too. Oh, yeah, come on. Sorry, How can we sorry, all fit in the tiny convertible? Right Peso, top off. There you <laughs> are, and and here you are. Oh, wow. my God. We look wow. like Easter wow. Island heads. That is very That's beautiful. so great. Yes. Yeah. Well, <sighs> I'll see you on my next crime. Goodbye. Right. Bye. He's a I love that guy. Hey, right. everyone. Where'd, uh, uh, where'd he go? Is he gone already? He's gone. Yeah. Jesus, you just missed him. How huh? did you? Oh, and he, look at this picture. You guys didn't wait for me? We couldn't. No, no. You snooze, Either. you lose. <sighs> I gotta go develop these uh, back in my condo. If anyone wants to come, we'll do a little after party. I've just been telling people about it. It's no big deal. It's a small uh, thing. Excuse, excuse me, are you guys clearing out for the prom because uh, we're having a debtors anonymous meeting here, and you guys are supposed to be out by nine? Debtors anonymous? Who? Who are? Oh, uh, I shouldn't ask you who you yeah. are, right? Are you supposed to be anonymous or? Well, my, I, 
Vance H. If you want to know. Oh, okay. All right. Well, name, Vance, obviously. the gym is covered in human shit, so you might want to give well, it some time for Peso to clean it up. Was there a, a Poop Lovers Anonymous uh, meeting? No. <laughs> I mean, that's although that's, that's kind of an anonymous disgusting. joke. I mean, the anonymous yeah. Community. No. Unfortunately, the police came and, and fired yeah. a human being's uh, poop bullets out. Oh, that happened. <laughs> uh, of a dead body. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, wait, debtors anonymous. What was your problem yeah. with debt? I just, I was addicted really? to that. Yeah. I just spent At a lot this of money. late hour, we're going to ask this fucking stranger <laughs> what his problem with debt is. How much are you in debt, sir? I, I, I went on, I'd go on the Alibaba website and just go crazy. What's the Alibaba website? It's like Amazon, but in China. So it, the, the shipping costs are always out of control, but that was part of the rush. So. Anyway. Okay. I don't think we're interested that in worth that. It? I mean, <laughs> I don't, you worth know, it? I don't think so. Look, I buy like, you know what? Before the, before the prom, uh, ends here. There, there is one last thing we, we like to do on the show, and it, well, why not do it during prom? It's a little something called plugs. Uh, Whoa, um, wait, wait, what'd you just say? I said, now I'm a murderer. <laughs> okay, murderer. that was uh, Dipping in the Plug Back by Ethan Edenberg. Uh, and what are we plugging, guys? Obviously, the Womp It Up podcast, you guys have been doing it. Uh, you have a couple of seasons under your belt. We're serving it up hot and fresh do, every you, week. What else do you keep under the belt, by the way? Because that belt is a uh, rest. It, it's, I don't know how That's you keep it up. Skin. That's all skin. <laughs> I have uh, what they like to call... Uh, Excess skin disorder. Oh yeah, ESD. It's growing in places it shouldn't grow. It's growing longer. It's like phantom limb symptom. Symptom only. There's no bones in there. Right. Yeah. So okay. yeah, I have to loop it all up under my belt. Right. My belt right. Loop. So uh, Womp It Up uh, comes out here yes. on the Earwolf Network. It's been coming out weekly, and uh, this is the first time that we've been able to consistently release episodes every week. And yeah. So it, you just are, came out with 26 episodes. In in a row. Your That's second right. season is finished now, but people can all uh, catch up on these. And where? we're continuing to, to, to go on. We're not third taking season, a break. Third season coming back. Yes, it's coming back. We've been renewed. Very good. And uh, we've been asking everybody to convert Wompsters. So, yes. if, you, if, so if you, you enjoyed what you he- heard here today, go check it out and then convert some Wompsters out there. That's right. If you see uh, something, say something. Yeah, it's a very uh, the Womp universe or the Wompaverse. The Wompaverse. The Wompaverse is feel, ever expanding. They feel afraid at first because how can I possibly catch up? But the truth of the matter is you can jump right in into the middle of it. Jump right in. Yes. Yeah, yeah the water's warm. Speaking of uh, warm water, Seth, yeah. what are you plugging here? Uh, oh, thanks so much for that uh, graceful segue. You know, uh, I've been watching a lot more TV since I've lost my podiatry business. Or, and your wife. Yeah, but that she's as elective. She's doing that on her own. Uh, <laughs> but I discovered a channel called Adult Swim. Uh, and on that channel, I found this great program called Mr. Neighbor's House which is available on their website right now for free. You can check it out. But even better than that, there is a new Mr. Neighbor's House coming out. Mr. Neighbor's House 2 by Brian Husky, who is the gentleman from the Raspberry Blueberry commercial with JT. Oh, the bald guy. Yeah, the bald guy. looks like Jason Lee. The professional bald guy. Yeah, he puts semen in his shoes when he does commercials. That's right. That's the guy. It's coming out on June. Ooh, that's going to be good. It's coming out June 24th at midnight on Adult Swim. Mr. Neighbor's House 2. Mr. Neighbor's House 2. Okay, great. I'm going to have a viewing party at my house. Sweetheart, we're, we're going to have people Can't over. wait. Okay. okay. Make it will not be there. Uh, uh, Casey Steers, yeah. do you want to uh, uh, plug well, anything? Oh, no, yeah. You know, since I came on uh, Womp It Up, I kind of found and fell in love, I think, with podcasts in general. I love hearing people's voices in my ear. And, you know, uh, there's a great new one uh, called Unspooled where mm. these two Ooh, that's hosts very good. watch Unspooled. the Unspooled, the 100 <laughs> best movies according to the AFI film list and they go through each one because you know I think hmm. we realize that a lot wow. of the times uh, we say that we've seen these movies like Citizen Kane or Singing in the Rain we maybe not have seen those movies hmm. so any ASMR movie. in this show or? Uh, the whole podcast is very soothing to listen to it's hosted hmm. by Amy Nicholson from the canon and uh, and then this other guy uh uh, Paul Sheen. Another professional bald guy. Oh, that's yeah, the guy from the uh, from the Raspberry commercials. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, was yeah. on the Daily he Show. He does a lot of stuff. And, uh, yeah, he's and then Dukes of Hazard. And, he was uh, very funny on the Daily Show. Did a little, show. little bit on House of Cards. Yeah, uh, he's on Brooklyn Nine-Nine right. now. <laughs> all right, well, I want to plug, uh, I have a couple of shows out there. Are You Talking R.E.M. Re.Me, my show with uh, Adam Scott that I do every week. That comes out on Wednesdays here on Earwolf. And also Freedom with Paul F. Tompkins and Lauren Lapkus. That's on Stitcher Premium. Go head over to stitcherpremium.com slash freedom and use offer code 3 
freedom. You'll get a whole month free. All right, let's close up the old plug bag. Whoa, what a bag. It's time to open it. It's time. too long. All right, guys. Well, uh, Marissa, I just got to say, I know that this prom wasn't exactly what no, you it had was. in mind. Got prom is over. Paper. All right. Prom is over. Can we play product. one last song, Listler? I'll put my address Hey, can we dance? All yeah. Right. You want to dance with me? All right. Yeah. All right. It's we. I Normally, I would... Uh, you don't know where you're touching me. I would put my arms around your waist. I don't you, have one. You, you yeah. just have like a descending. That's right. Cone uh, shape. Cone shape. Yeah. All right. So I. Uh, Listler, so I, would you care to hit the uh, the old D floor? Can't with handle me? it. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. Oh, you're my little caper. I'm no, gonna touch you. No. Casey Steers has picked up Dana Rodman's father's dead body and is dancing with him. He's slow dancing with it. Just keep it going. Just keep it going. Yeah, yeah. Like a He's like alive. a weekend at Bernie's scenario. It is. It's wow. very funny. Ah, uh-huh, yes. Yeah, so so I like, can date your daughter. Okay, thank you, Mr. Rodman. Uh, I really appreciate it. You know, I'm so glad you came to this uh, this point of view. Thank you, Mr. Rodman, for letting me be with your daughter sexually. All right. All's well that ends well. Marissa, you, you seriously need to get out because we're about to have this meeting. Vance, okay? shut the fuck I'm up. Sorry, just one more just song. song. Marissa, uh, yes. you know, I, f- I feel bad that this may, might not have been the prom that you wanted, but, uh, you know, you, you, you've been on the show for nine years and you're probably almost 40, so here you go. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. Yes. The answer is yes. I no, will marry I you. I didn't ask any. No, yes, no, no, no. Are you marrying Choctaw? Oh, is it happening? Yes. I no, 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 no. Oh, I can perform the ceremony. So I'm heir to the comedy bang, bang, he fortune. Oh, no, 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 no. So look out, <laughs> Meghan Markle. There's a new American princess. Okay, look, we need to call it. Well, yes. we'll come back next week. It's time Woo! for Debtors Anonymous now. By the power vested in me oh, in the state of so California. Much. Yes! We'll see you I next time. You man no, and please yes. no. What power was invested in you? Yes. Universal Life Church, buddy. No, fuck. Yes. All right, we'll see Whoa. you next time. Thanks. Grant me the power to not use my credit card to purchase things on the Alibaba <laughs> website. Thanks. We'll see you I next time. Bye. We are having a meeting. <laughs> <laughs>